seriously, there is times that I am excited and there are times that I am stoked. And stoked, by saying stoked, I mean I am overwhelmed by my own excitement and I cannot control myself. Panasonic. So this is going to be the unboxing of one of the products that I've been so excited for. Every This is a company that every product they made along, the, along their product line, I was hooked. I was, literally, I looked at the product, I looked at what they are saying it's supposed to do, uh, what people, uh, how people uh, reviewed those products and I was hooked and I never had one of those devices. Inside this box I have one of the most, uh, one of the products that I have waited for for so long. I cannot uh, wait any longer so I'm just gonna uh, unbox this box and then I will try to calm myself down and to and give you uh, some type of uh, context to what uh, I, what is going on and why am I acting this way. Inside the delivery box, it just feels like a half full box and just shrinking it down half size and looking at this uh, makes it feel like a jewelry. Okie dokie. Two. Three. Four. Something. Haha, oh, this is not gonna work for me. This is a US uh, type cable. We're here to help something DJI in books. And this is empty, finally. And come on, this is exactly the moment I've been waiting for. I've been wanting to have one of these products, one of DJI's products for the longest time. Um, and finally, it's here. I'm such a key. Whoa, this is so small. This is the tiniest thing ever. This is the size of the remote. This is the size of the power brick. Just to... Okay, I have to see if it has some battery. No, it's completely empty. So, this goes here. Just gonna check the, the voltage is okay. Don't want to burn it. Uh, why do they type everything so small on top of these devices? Yeah, so this is charging. I suppose the remote needs some charging as well. Let's find out where the power... Where do you charge this thing? No, seriously, I'm so confused right now. And too much uh, anxiety. I don't know exactly what is the proper sequence of uh, things to do. I mean, I know it needs to have some calibration done with probably a firmware update. I need to charge the battery. I'm not, I'm so confused at the moment that I'm not sure how do I charge the remote even. even. Seriously, I'm gonna watch DJI's website and try to understand, I mean, how they, they uh, uh, recommend starting up. I like DJI and everything, but this video kind of, kind of makes you feel like copy from being a fanboy. Okay, so 1 minute 57 seconds in, and this is the only reference to, to charge the RC, okay, to charge the LC with the supplied USB Type-C cable. Use the USB C to micro USB adapter. And okay. So in order to charge the remote, you need to unplug this from the side and use this adapter to charge the remote. Which looks and sounds completely idiotic. Idiotic? Idiotic. I'm just going to bring a charge. 
Okay, so now this is charging as well. That was not very clear. Would have been nice to have some explanation about how to replace the cable that comes with the remote. At the moment it is the lightning. I am not using an iPhone at the moment. I, ha I have an iPhone 6, but I'm not using it. I have a Samsung at the moment. So, which one do I need? I need this one. So you're the one for me. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna install the app. I'm gonna give it a few minutes to charge because uh, everything is totally, completely empty. I don't have a piece of, a little piece of battery. And I'm so nervous about all of this. I usually, with most of the time, most of the time when I open stuff, I'm just open it, try to see if it works like out of the box. If not, I kind of like let it crash or do whatever. And this time I'm so nervous it's not that it was super expensive, it, it's not cheap, but it wasn't like unbelievably expensive. And still I am so nervous about it. Uh, so I'm gonna install the app, I'm gonna run some updates, see if it will update. Okay, I have no patience, I'm gonna try to plug it in. At the moment what it's doing, it's updating the locations of places that you are not allowed to fly in. Firmware update for the Mavic Air. Stop updating. Everything is getting pretty warm. I mean the remote control, the phone itself. The drone event is uh, running uh, in suppose pretty high speed. Yeah, so you can hear the vent. It's working pretty hard at the moment. You can see the opening of the vent, there is a, a grill here and uh, it's not so warm for the touch but uh, you can hear it uh, working at the moment. So this took a significant amount of time. It did fail the update uh, on the first go. Uh, it said on the update list that uh, if you have a problem updating you should uh, manually restart and this is what I did and now it's finished. A funny problem I have is that the Samsung uh, fingerprint reader is placed on the bottom and I can't reach it uh, and I didn't want to unplug it at the moment so I had to use the pin in order to unlock my phone but I suppose it's, uh, with the iPhone you probably have the same issue usually I uh, have a Nexus which has the fingerprint reader on the back but yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Oddly enough, the the image is reversed. So you have to have auto rotation turned on. If you have it turned off, the image will be reversed.
actually what I've been waiting for all this time. Ever since I saw the first uh, DJI product, I was so impressed. I was hoping to have something equal. I had similar uh, ideas about connecting a camera on top of one of the model airplane. But the thing is, cameras back then were also extremely heavy. It's, uh, before GoPro was a commonly used product, much heavier than they are today. And secondly, extremely expensive and it demanded a very big plane to be able to fly and you didn't have any pay, uh, uh, FPV capabilities. So it was never uh, the full concept. I had one project I tried, it worked, it worked for a few minutes. It was a building a very big kite. It was a, a parachute type. Uh, it was a parachute type um, kite, and uh, connecting a webcam with a very long uh, USB cord to it. Uh, of course, USB has uh, issues with distance, and after uh, um, a bunch of extension cords, it stopped working. I tried. Uh, security camera, uh, one of those uh, security cameras you can buy and place in, in the entrance of your house so they come with a long cable. I had a project that I tried to uh, implement one of those cameras with a kite and uh, film the desert. So I've been thinking a lot about having a, a device that helps me to uh, film uh, from a bird's point of view, like basically.